Yes. testimony is I'm from New Orleans Louisiana my name is Marlon Gillen and um, I've been here since Hurricane Katrina let me tell you about this uh, before we before the storm hit we evacuated Sunday and we made reservations to go to Columbus but we ended up in West Point Georgia and I tell you how good God is we evacuated in time enough before the hurricane hit we've met a uh, large number of people who have been a blessing to us and we have been a blessing to them and God has really been good to us he's used people to help us along the way before Hurricane Katrina hit months in advance and I had a vision God showed me a dream that a storm was going to hit we didn't know when or where or how how it was going to affect us but it changed our lives. But I know that God is in control and he has saved us and he's carrying us through this storm, even after the storm. So I just want to tell you, God is in control and he will carry you through any storm. So do not be frustrated with every situation you're going through. Keep on moving and keep your eye on the prize and keep praying. And the last thing I want to say is, Stay around positive people who will uplift you. If they're not, if they're not going to send a good message to you, stay away from them.
my child. I was employed with the school system. I lost my job for praying for a student. God has restored my job back into education in a different county. He has also qualified me as a, a highly qualified teacher by which other people had to go and take a test. I took the test, I failed the test by one point. One lousy point. Two weeks prior to the CRCT being taken at my school, I received a, I received a letter saying that I was unqualified by which the parents of sixth graders were going to receive this letter. Two weeks prior to the CRCT coming back, I received a phone call saying that I was a qualified math teacher. God told me, through it all, to keep walking. I kept walking, I kept smiling. God showed me that he was gonna be there for me if only I would trust him. That's my testimony. Here is a part of my testimony going through and we made it happen. Right here. Formed, actually, God formed the group for us. It was through one of the group members. He was, we were outside one day, and he was rapping about getting high. And he's on, he was only seven years old, and it was a song. And I was like, what, what song is that? And he was like, Auntie, it's on the radio. They play this song on the radio. And we we got in the car, and I got in the car, and I heard the song about something I didn't go to school because I got high, and I didn't do something else because I got high. And I was like, well, Jalen, do you know what getting high is? Do you know what that is? And he was like, no, Auntie, but it's on the radio. So from that point, I, you know, I was just sitting there, and I was thinking, you know, that's, that's very negative to be on the radio, for one. And a lot of children are really influenced by, by the radio. So what I did was I heard my other nephew rapping, and, which is John John. I heard him rapping one day, and I was like, well, if, if they were able to rap, if they wanted to rap, it would be best if they could rap their own songs. So I took them into the room. I said, well, do you do y'all want to be rappers? And they would say, yes, Auntie, we want to be rappers. And I was like, well, do you want to rap the music that you hear on the radio? Or do you want to rap gospel music? And being led by the spirit that was in them, they said that they would want to do gospel music. So it wasn't me forcing them. It wasn't someone else making their decision. It was them themselves making their own decision to follow God. And through that, the group was formed. Y'all shut the devil out right quick. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the Lord. 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 Sometimes we will sin. I know he's my savior, my one and only. I can call him whenever my soul is lost and lonely. There's no starting. He'll be there in a minute, an hour, or a prayer. So don't be scared to go there. Just let the world know that you care. If you love that love, you know it. Clap your hands and give up and do his dance. 